Welcome back to the show, people, man. And, you know, wait a minute, I hear it. He's coming down. The biggest player from the Himalayas to talk about the updated Detroit Lions first round draft position. It's your auntie's favorite player, my man, L.L. Kuchon. Let's talk about these draft picks, my guy. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I've been giving the updates on the uh, draft position, though, so, and now that the season is over for teams like ourselves, um, we've been locked in. So the teams that are not in the playoffs, that, that draft order has been set. Of course, barring any additional trades, we've had a few from, from other years. Um, none this year yet. I think there's going to be some movement at the top of the draft, um, either, you know, the closer we get to the draft. But um, as it stands right now, the uh, the pick that we received from, the, from our – or the last first-round pick or the last pick in general, right? Or is it, do we get a third from this no, year? No, we already got um, we already got them. It, this is the last one from that from the Stafford trade. Yeah, well, this is our last pick from the, uh, from the, from the Matthew Stafford and Jared Goff trade. Um, the first round pick from the from the Rams will be picking number six, and that's uh, behind teams like the Colts and the Seahawks, and in front of teams like the Raiders and the Falcons. So, um, and um, the pick that we earned ourselves at eighteen, which is the last pick before the playoff team, shout out to us. You know, you got to count your wins where you can, not your losses. Um, we'll be picking at uh, eighteen. So, from the Rams pick six, and from our own pick number eight. 18, 12 picks apart. You know, lots of things we could do. We could stand pat. We could move back. We could move up. Do whatever we want. You know, um, I, you know, I want to see. I'm very interested to see what uh what the staff is going to do. I like that we got to see that in um in uh hard knocks. Like you know, just their deliberations on cutting people. So I would love to see what goes in in the draft because you know, like I said, I, I look into the draft and I don't remember if y'all look. I don't remember if y'all uh, remember. I think his name was Corey Chavis. He played safety for the Vikings back in the day. And this was like on like one of them like ESPN morning things or uh, Fox morning things. They were talking about him. He was like, this is way back when. It's like 2001. That's crazy to say that's way back when. But yeah, he had one like a ago. bunch of pads. <laughs> You're right. But he had a bunch of pads. And that's on. But even then, like 20 years ago, he wasn't even necessarily on phones and computers, but he was using pads. He's had pages and pages and pages of notes on players and stuff. I was like, dang, that's crazy. But he knew what it, like he had. Somebody asked him about such and such player. He's like, yeah, he blah, 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 blah. Like he knew everything. I'm like, dang, that's kind of dope. I never really went into that extent, but that made me really like look into the draft a little bit different. But mm -hmm. I'm not looking into it, like I said, that deep. I just watch a lot of videos and, um, you know, try to look at the players that I'm familiar with or try to get with, try to get familiar with players at positions that we need. So, um, <clears throat> You know, if y'all out there do the same thing, um, leave some comments. Let us know some of the players that you think. I think that's the family discussion topic as well, so I'll let that come. Um, but, you know, let us know what you think um, on a draft position, you know, what positions and what players maybe we should take in that, in that spot. Just to be honest with you, uh, I'm I'm still not in draft mode just yet, but uh, <laughs> I'm looking at positions, right? So the Lions need to focus on their defense. If you look at the second and third levels of our defense, that's probably where we have the biggest need right now. Even according to NFL.com, uh, their draft analysis says that the Lions' biggest needs are defensive back, uh, defensive line, and linebacker. So um, I agree with that 100%. Um, but I think we need, a, we need to draft another corner. If we have, we might need to draft two corners. Um, do you look at this, right. where we're at? Um, a, defensive, a defensive tackle – could be in the mix, but actually, to be honest with you, I think it would be more of a depth for that because I like Isaiah Bugs. I like, I like, I like, I would like to resign him. Uh, I think him and him and Lee McNeil work good together, so I, I won't, I would want to resign him and we'll draft the guy maybe in the middle, uh, middle rounds or late round or later rounds. In that first round, I'm thinking defensive back and linebacker, just to be honest with you. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, Linebacker maybe at six if we don't trade back, and then the end of the first but eight. Mm, maybe you said linebacker corner. at six. Mm -hmm. Which is really now, if you, I don't, I don't know if you have anybody in mind, but who would be at six? I don't I, know nobody. I don't, that's... I don't even know. Like, but I think the Lions. To be honest with you, I don't think the Lions pick at six. I'm thinking that this is the two mm. first round. I think the Lions trade back. I think somebody's going to make a deal to move. Back. Do. Some, do. Somebody is going to be somebody because the guy that we will really. One, I think, is Jalen Carter, and I think he's not going to be there. Him or Will Anderson aren't no. going to be there at six. So, no, 
Um, I think we're going to trade back, and I think that you can get you can get two quality defensive players. You may be able to get two starters uh, in that first round right there. Um, and just to, to kind of this kind of this in the future, um, I think it's time for the Lions to draft the right guard. I don't. I think Big B may be a cap casualty because of the injuries. That's that's what I'm thinking at 18. Yeah, and then I'm looking at um, Evan Brown. I like Evan Brown, but he's a backup center. He's not a long term solution at right guard. He's just not. No. Um, a lot of teams took advantage of that, especially when he came back. They were like, okay, they they would line up their best defensive tackle or their you know that best for three tech or zero te- uh, nose and go right at Evan Brown. <laughs> they did it all season. So um, only so much that Frank Ragout and uh, Panay Sewell can do with helping in that situation because you can't double team all the time. So. Uh, those are the positions I w- I'm looking at. I'm looking at linebacker, defensive back, and right guard for the the draft. What you got, uh, Coach Jones? Yeah, actually, I'm I'm with you tr- uh, on the trade back. I do mm-hmm. think the Lions trade back. I think somebody's gonna jump up and grab Will Levis. Mm-hmm. Um, they always do it. Uh, I think <laughs> we're in a perfect position where, hey, if somebody wants to throw us an extra pick or two for uh, Will Levis. Go on, go on and give it to us, man. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but you know what? If we didn't and say perhaps we did stay there, um, I think Joey Porter Jr. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, uh he's he's a he's a good corner. I it, think he, you know, pedigree. Nasty. Yeah. <laughs> you already know his, you already know his daddy. His, you know what I'm saying? So I think he he's right, he's that type of player that Aaron Glenn wants. Dan Campbell wants, I think. So I really think uh, Joey Porter Jr. fits that mold. And I also think that uh, going a right guard and a linebacker, uh, just depending on the uh, the guys that are available, will be that second, third pick. They can flip-flop. Um, so I'm not really sure. But, yeah, I definitely do think we go corner first in the, uh, in the draft. Uh, Joey Porter Jr., Come on to the D, man. We we got the attitude for you, boy. We you, you ain't got to take right at home. You'll stay That's a lion, all. man. You'll be a nitly lion to a Detroit lion. There you go. <laughs> right. Good point. Mm-hmm. Good point. I forget the uh, I forget the stat they said about him, but he played the highest. I think it was him they were talking about. But he played the highest um, percentage in man impressed man this year, and that's what you know they Probably kind of so. think that you know that's the kind of corner that uh, Adrian them might be looking for um, for their guard. Um, if not for that second round, for that second first round pick, um, I I was thinking um, out of Florida, like I said before, uh, Osiris Torrance or my man out of Minnesota. He's like a guard center. You could take him in the second if you don't get him in the first. And um, I'm with y'all. I'm I'm in my in my last little things. I've been looking around. I've been taking two corners. I take uh, Joey Porter first, and then uh, yo yo guy. I think uh, Coach Mike, you called his name before. Um, Witherspoon out of uh, out of Illinois, so I take him with one of our second round picks. Um, but one of the guys, one of the defensive linemen out there, I don't know if we'd be able to get him. Um, he's I, I watched a whole bunch of them on him last night. He's pretty pretty incredible, man. I don't know where he's going to going, but I can't think his, I can't pronounce his name. But it's the guy out of uh, USC number forty nine, Loti Luti or something like that. I don't know. I don't want to disrespect because I don't know how to say the names, but. Um, check him out. He he's pretty good. But I don't know whatever we end up doing. I like I said, I I'm interested to see. Um, I got I got a certain level of trust for him. They lost yeah. a little bit of trust, but you know, not a whole lot. But let's see what they're gonna do. I, I'm thinking about bringing the you know, what I'm saying we get another set of brothers on the Lions. You know, what I'm saying maybe in that yeah. second third round, bringing in Sewell and from Oregon. So yeah. you know, we'll see if he declares. So, hey. To hear what myself and Coach Jones have to say about this topic, tune into the full version of today's Lunch Time Detroit Lions Talk, brought to you by Detroit Lions on the Pro, right here on your home for Detroit Lions news and rumors. <laughs>